हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ आवर आई एस एल वीडियो सीरीज एज आई एस एल फिक्सचर्स आर आउट वी ऑल नो दिस ईयर आई एस एल विल स्टार्ट ऑन ट्वेंटी एथ नवम्बर वी आर गोइंग टू विटनेस द फर्स्ट कोलकाता डारबी ऑफ न्यू एरा और ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ नवम्बर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन अवर प्रिव्यू फॉर ए टी के एम बी साइड नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर द अदर हाफ दिस वर्ल्ड फेमस डारबी एस सी ईस्ट बेंगल इन स्पाइट ऑफ ऑल द हार्ड एल्स ईस्ट बेंगल सक्सेसफुली मैनेजेस टू प्ले इन आई एस एल दिस ईयर इट इज गुड फॉर इंडियन फुटबॉल दैट ऑल द जायट्स ऑफ इंडियन फुटबॉल आर प्लेइंग इन वन लीग दिस विल बी द फर्स्ट सीजन ऑफ एस सी ईस्ट बेंगल इन आई एस एल दैट मीन्स वी विल सी सम इंटरेस्टिंग मैच अप्स फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द फॉरनर्स एस सी ईस्ट बेंगल हैज साइन सिक्स ओवरसीज प्लेयर दो द लिमिट इज सेवन These six players will be brand new faces in Indian football. They are Danny Fox, Scott Mabel, Matty Steinman, Holloway, Magoma and Pilkington. Among them Fox, Magoma and Pilkington are coming from English football. The other three that means Neville, Holloway and Steinman are coming to India from Australian A League. Now come to the key players. In defense Scott Mabel will be the main man. who will organize the whole defense he is coming from brisbane road that means the manager and neville are already in good understanding this could be very vital for sc east bengal our second pick in the key player list will be matty steinman he will be the one who will conduct everything through midfield he is coming from wellington phoenix of a league His form at the center of the midfield will decide many of the matches in the brand new season. Our third and fourth pick will be the two wingers. First one is Magoma and other one is Pilkington. Both are coming from English football. Magoma joined SC East Bengal from Birmingham City, who are in second tier of English football currently. Some of you who follow Premier League may find the name Pilkington familiar. He was in the Norwich side who were in the Premier League in the first half of last decade. His last club was Wigan Athletic who are in third tier right now. Till now it is clear that SC East Bengal season is highly dependent on the new faces. But the last key player according to us will be JJ Lalpeklua. JJ is a seasoned campaigner in ISL. His experience will be vital for the side. This season will be a huge opportunity for JJ to regain the spot in national squad. He will be desperate to prove his doubters wrong. Other than JJ, Chulova and Irshad will be eager to establish themselves in the biggest stage of Indian football. Now coming to the manager and his preferred formation segment. This year SC East Bengal will be managed by Liverpool legend Robbie Fowler. This will only be the third season when he is going to manage a senior team. Previously he managed Moncton United and Brisbane Roar. Between these two jobs he spent a lot of years as a coach for Liverpool's academy. Last year his preferred formation was 3-4-2-1. There is a high chance that he is going to use this formation again. Last season Brisbane Roar finished fourth in A League which is acceptable from their standard. Now coming to the most difficult part the prediction time. SC East Bengal will be managed by a new coach who has very limited amount of experience as a manager. Above that all the players will have to adapt to the new league, new conditions. It's very tough to predict right now. According to us the empty stadium will affect the SC East Bengal side the most. Players will be deprived of witnessing the emotions of fan. Keeping all this in mind, SC East Bengal will finish 4th or 5th in the league table. They will keep fighting until the last match of the league phase to be in top 4. Hope you like our video. Stay tuned for more ISL team previews. Till then hit the like and subscribe button to keep us motivated.